Chapter 5, Section 5, Standard Form. Your objective for this lesson is to graph linear equations using intercepts and to write linear equations in standard form. Okay, the standard form of a linear equation is written ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a and b cannot be zero, cannot both be zero. So example one, we're going to find the x and y intercepts of an equation written in standard form. This equation is written in standard form because it's a, a x plus b y equals c. So what we're going to do is to find the x intercept, we're going to let y equal zero because on a graph at the X intercept, the Y coordinate is zero. So to find the X intercept, we're going to let Y equal zero. And we get three X plus four times zero equals 24. That's going to be zero. So we get three X equals 24. Divide both sides by three. And X must be eight. So my X intercept is eight. Then we want to find the Y intercept. And to find the y-intercept, you let x equal 0. Because at the y-intercept, the x-coordinate is 8. So if you let x equal 0, you'll find what the y-coordinate is with the y-intercept. So that's going to be 3 times 0 plus 4y equals 24. That's 0. So if you divide both sides by 4, you get y equals 6. So your y-intercept is 6. And they asked for the x and y-intercepts, so I'm finished. Guided practice number one, I want you to find the x and y-intercepts of these two equations. To find the x-intercept, you let y equal 0. To find the y-intercept, you let x equal 0. Pause the video, do these two questions, and resume it when you're ready. Okay, the x-intercept for the first one is going to make y zero, so you get 5x equals 60, which means x must be 12, so the x-intercept is 12. To find the y-intercept, you're going to let x equal zero, so you get negative 6y equals 60. Divide both sides by negative 6, and you get y equals negative 10. So the y-intercept is negative 10. For b, your x-intercept is 4. And your y-intercept is negative or positive three halves. Example two, we're going to graph a line using intercepts. So, for example two, your equation is x minus two y equals negative two. Now that's from the textbook. That's not something you think of. They have to give you the equation. I just forgot to put it in the outline. Your step one is to find your in intercepts. So your x-intercept is going to be x minus 2 times 0 equals negative 2. So x equals negative 2. Graph your x-intercept on the graph. Uh, x equals negative 2, so you go left 2 and put a point. Your y-intercept is going to let x equal 0. So you get 0 minus 2y equals negative 2. Negative 2y equals negative 2. Divide both sides by negative 2. So y must be 1. So you're going to go up 1 and put a point. Then you're just going to draw a line between those two points. Okay, your turn to try that. First, I want you to find the x and y intercepts by plugging 0 in for x for the y intercept and then 0 in for y to find the x intercept. Graph the two points and then draw a line through them. When you're ready, resume the video. All right, so your x-intercept, you're going to get from plugging y, 0 in for y. So you get 2 times x plus 5 times 0 equals 20. That's 2x equals 20, so x must be 10. 
for my y-intercept, I'm going to let x equal 0. So I end up with 5y equals 20, so y is 4. Now we're going to have to estimate here because our graph doesn't go that high. So we're going to go up 4 on the y-axis and put a point. And then our x is 10, so we're going to say 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It'll be about out there, and then we'll draw our line. It does not have to be perfect, but it's similar to that. Example three, we're going to graph horizontal and vertical lines. Now, we know that if a line is horizontal, it has a zero slope. And if it's vertical, it has an undefined slope. So, we're going to use what we know. If x equals three then for A, you're going to put a point where X is 3. So on the X axis, you're going to point a point at 3. And if you'll go anywhere up or down, X still equals 3 all the way down this line. Since that's the only information we know, that's the only e line we could graph. So we're going to graph a vertical line through X equals 3. If x equals a number, it's a vertical line. And the way I've seen other teachers remember, help you remember that is you see that V at the top of the x? That's for vertical. Okay, that would lead you to believe that if y equals a number, so y is positive 3, then everywhere on this line, y is also positive 3. So if y equals a number, that is a horizontal line. So guided practice number 3, you have... For A, you have X equals a number, which is a vertical line because it's X equals a number. All the X coordinates are the same on a vertical line. For B, X equals a number. That's also vertical. For C, Y equals a number. It's horizontal. And for D, Y equals a number. So it's horizontal. Example four, rewriting an equation in standard form. So what we have for example four is an equation in slope intercept form. We want to write it in standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. So really what this means is we want to get x and y on the left hand side. So we're going to move this to the left. The way you do that is you add the x term to the other side. You can't add y and x, so you end up with 3 sevenths x plus y equals 5. And we'd prefer to have integer terms if we can, so we are going to multiply this whole equation by the denominator or the common denominator of the fraction, which is 7, and I get the 7s cancel, 3x. 7 times y is 7y, and then 7 times 5 is 35. So that's my equation in standard form. Guided practice number 4. I want you to rewrite that in standard form. So you are going to first distribute to get rid of the parentheses. That's negative 1 third x minus 1 third of 6, which is 2. We have to get the x's and the y's on the left-hand side, so we are going to add one-third x. And I get one-third x plus y minus 2 equals negative 2. Get the constant terms on the other side. So we get one-third x plus y equals 0. But we want to not have the fraction there, so we are going to multiply the whole equation by the common denominator, which is 3, and we get 1x 
plus 3y equals 0. And that is my equation in standard form. You're going to have a quiz on this um, at the beginning of class tomorrow. Make sure you understand it. If you don't, watch it again. And make sure you bring your outline to class completed so I can give you your participation for it.